And Heather is joining us. You guys haven't seen her in a while, huh? She's been hiding in the background. So we are going to go ahead. We're going to take a ride. We'll have Heather slip in there. Welcome back to the community, everybody. And thank you all for being part of it. And thank you for the donations that have been sent in. If you can send in a small donation, there's a link below with a secure link to PayPal. I'd really appreciate it. It helps a lot with the channel. Today we got something special. Uh, a friend of mine is stopping out in his 78 Super Beetle convertible. And we're going to go ahead and take a walk around, interview him, look the car over, and go for a ride. Now, how cool is that? Let's get on All it. Right. I think he's coming. Yeah, that's him. And he's rolling along. What a beautiful car. I'm so excited to see this. What a clean car. I love it. All right. Ted is here. He's just parking where it's a little convenient so we can interview. So let's meet Ted here and check out his car. Okay, folks. So my buddy Ted come over and I've been wanting you to see his convertible. It's actually very, very nice and solid and Northeast. We don't really have that many solid cars. When we try to find one here, it's a nightmare. There's usually rust on them and everything. So this is actually a very good friend of mine, Ted. And I'm glad you stopped by, brother. I appreciate I'm it. Glad really to see do. you again. Now, what year is yours? This is a 78. Okay. Um, now, it's not rusty because it was originally an Arizona car. Oh, okay. And right. um, I have a uh, birth certificate on from the previous owners. And uh, now, did he do that where you mail to Germany and get the birth certificate? Is yes. That... Yes. Oh, really? The I... wife did. Yes. I have never done that yet. I wanted. To I should do have brought that. it along, and I forgot. I didn't think of it. But right, anyway, right. Um, the story of the car is it was it was an Arizona car, and back when Hemmings Motor. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, back in those days, uh, there was a guy out in Columbus mm -hmm. and he had a used car lot and he had a guy, he had a friend that lived in Arizona and the friend would scout around for cars. Right. Right. So they found this one. The guy went down, flew from Columbus down to get it in Arkansas. The engine blew up. Oh, geez. Um, they lost the rear main seal, all the oil. So he had to have a brand new engine put in it in Arkansas. Right. And he drove it to Columbus and he had it for about a year or so. And then, uh, Chuck and Sally that I bought the car off of locally up, I live out in Apollo and I bought it out that way. Right. Um, Chuck found it in Hemmings motor and, and called the guy up and he drove out to see it and liked it and said he drove it 65 mile an hour the whole way home. No problems when he picked it up. No. No, and Chuck and Sally had the car for 25 years. Oh, wow. And only put 11,000 miles on it. There so was 2,000 just... miles on the engine when he bought it. Right. They put 11 on it, so. So they was just taking it out basically for a ride once yeah, in a while. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, and that's, and that's what we end up doing later. I mean, remember when we were young, we drove these cars as daily drivers, and some people still do. Right, use right. them as daily drivers, but I think it depends on where you live. And the nice thing is with these is we don't have all the computers on them, you know, stuff like that. Now, yours is yours fuel injection. It is okay. It is. And do you prefer me much smoother? Um, well, back in the day, I had a '74 um, yellow Beetle. Right. Um, it was pretty much a rust tape. And the fuel injection, I really like. Um, right. You know, once it starts, no stalling. There's a difference. No stalling. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, you get your high idle and then it idles down real nice to, to the right speed. And I'm not saying it hasn't been a pain because year before last, yeah, I, I had an issue. And um, uh, we got that straightened out. Well, there was another thing, too. The collar on the distributor somehow was loose and the distributor turned. And that's another reason it, it wouldn't run. I had to replace the uh, airflow. Sensor meter or valve or yeah. whatever it is right i just bought that and i um, i bought a remanufactured one because they, i figured that was the best way to go are they pretty expensive about 197 dollars wow but they're bosch or 
the guy who rebuilds them what used to work for Bosch and so he rebuilds them to factory specs and and they're all set up and, and ready to go well there you go and somebody needs fuel injection now the parts. expensive part is they do charge you 160 dollar core charge so they have something to because work they want that part back so they can rebuild it and pass it on as long as it's a good core yeah right you know right. They'll, they'll do you know i and i ordered it from the bus depot in california oh okay so and, everybody uh, want to jot that down and you know it's sad but i mean there's always been core charges even when you and i were young we're right the right same age but now they literally need these cores or they can't keep you know rebuilding exactly it's beautiful i mean let me get the camera over here and let's take a walk around and check this out and maybe maybe we'll go for a little ride in it it would be fun so sure let's let's bring the camera here all right let's take a look at this 78 here this is a very nice car i had seen it before but very briefly and for the year of it and we're living northeast it truthfully is in very nice condition it really is i like the wheels the wheels are nice they, they sit well with the car the stance is great the supers as we know they sit a little higher in the front than normal but they are set up that way that's how they handle but truthfully and he's talking right now about getting you know a new top on and headliner so we'll see what you guys think because uh he doesn't really planning on selling it at this time but in case he would i told him maybe you know a newer top would help you know because uh it all adds value you know to the car can we take a look in the trunk sure sure okay what a great car what a great car and as you notice ted is an official member he got his shirt on I been to, been to Mount Rushmore, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the Mount Rushmore. And as you can see on the back of these shirts, it even says Slade's VW Beetle member. Wow, this is very clean. Now, I have the panel for up here. It hasn't been on. Of course, the car's never out. Um, it needs a new stereo, so I didn't bother ever putting it back on yet. Till. Okay. Yeah, and that's fine. It's not a big deal, but yeah. And when you put them on, you put some... Uh, dum dum, dum, dum it, I, yes and then put your panel on you know and it seals it off but right very clean he didn't do this to come and be filmed this is how this car always is he got his fire extinguisher which is a good idea extra and oil and extra a new, oil a new seal for it's, that's what's in that box there he's gonna do i'm just gonna pick out a day and do the seal with him so if you guys want to watch let me know I'll have him over and we'll film doing the seal because I think it'd be fun to do and he's a good friend I don't mind so he wants to show us something that he found interesting here and he did tell me in advance and I'm like I gotta see this so he's gonna expose uh, the tire here let me take this out too and Let's take a look at something very interesting. Here. I figured I'd better check to see if there was a spare. And when I pulled this tire out, I found that it's an old bias ply. Oh, yeah. That I thought there was another one, too. But this is a, it's this thing so petrified and hard. It's a 560. 15. Now you don't even see those anymore. Wow. That's an old bias. So that tire, that has been in her a long time. Um, yeah, longer than it needs to. So <laughs> we really need to get four new tires and absolutely. And I need, I guess I need to vacuum and clean under there too. But look how clean. I mean, yeah. remember, folks, we live northeast. Ted only lives about 40 minutes from me. So we live northeast. This is a real treat, having something that clean, in all honesty. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go back, have him open the door after he closes the trunk here, and we'll look inside. Let me pull this stuff back down. I really like this car. I told him if he ever sells it, we'll have to work something out. Because that's Heather's favorite car. Now I have a beetle bug on 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 here because 
the previous owner had a pipe or something that fell and put a dent there, so they put the bug <laughs> on it to disguise. That's the only dent in the car. And you can't tell. And you know what? You really can't. I could probably get that out for you. <laughs> when we're doing the uh, seal together in a few weeks, I'll okay. go ahead and try to get that out. We'll take a peek inside here. Now, the sheep's in seat covers came from the previous owners, which I have never actually looked at what condition the seats are in. I know there's a patch right. on this one, but... Those are actually really nice when it's hot. You don't burn your well, buttons. Well, I was going to say that. And then you're not sticking to it when you're sweating. Now, who all remembers these floor mats? These were a big deal when we were young. Those were <laughs> J.C. Whitney. Everybody had them, you know. And the door panels are in nice condition. Now, those, those have been replaced. They've been replaced. Okay. Yes, they yeah, were they coming apart great. up here at the top. And... Well, they must have bought good quality because they look like they fit nicely, in all honesty. I don't remember. I, I don't know where I bought them at. Now let's take a look inside here. Now is this a dash cap or is this a dash? That's the dash. Wow. And it does have a couple cracks in it. Yeah, but it's it's in pretty good condition in all sincerity. Those tiny cracks can always be fixed. We have an aftermarket Pioneer stereo. Everything is nice and clean. But then it doesn't surprise me because I know Ted, so that's Last not a Last year we did the roller pedal and rebuilt the pedal assembly and put the big boy clutch on. Okay, and as you can see, there's the big boy clutch. And as you can see, the pedals are much further apart. Whoops, I knocked it out of focus. That's the way you want them for guys like us, size, you know, 12, 13, or even if you have size 10 foot, you know, whatever. It's still nice to have that space in between. You can see right there, and you remember the video I did on that, it spaces them apart, and I believe the roller pedal gives you more space. Passenger side. Okay, let me go around the other side and get in so I can show you the headliner of what he was talking about. So we're about. inside now, and as you can see, the back seat is very nice. And this is what he's dealing with right now is the headliner so he got a uh, estimate from somebody on putting in a brand new headliner and a brand new top and that's the reason he's got a patch here and as we go around there's a patch here now he didn't cause this obviously he takes very very good gear of the car but that's just the way it was. Uh, I'm not going to get it up on jack stands or anything, but the underneath of the car is superior clean. Very clean. That's why I told him, I says, if you want to sell it, you know, down the road or what have you, we will work something out no matter what it takes because I love this car for Heather. Actually, if we go for a little quick ride, she's going to have to go with us. But can we take a peek at your motor? Sure. We have an antique plate. No, nothing, nothing shiny or anything. It's it's a car. You're supposed to drive it. Fuel injection. Oh, I see a new part. There's the new expensive part. Yep. <laughs> That's the new expensive part. And you know what? Truthfully, it's actually cleaner than what you're thinking. I mean, normally these oil covered and stuff running all over the place. So, I mean, truthfully, for you just getting it back out this year, it's actually in very nice condition. Heater channels and everything are like brand new under under it. Everything. And that's the nice thing is the car is impeccable. I know it needs a new top. I understand that. But when you get on to the heater channels, floor pans, frame head, and everything is like new, that's a heck of a car. Could you, uh, while we're watching the motor, just give it a quick start? Yeah. Just want to... Watch this, guys and gals. You know, fuel injection's amazing. Check this out. Just starts right up. That is awesome. It really, really is. It just makes such a big difference. I mean, I've never owned a fuel injection one yet, but they start up so nicely. They really, really do. I just think it's amazing. Okay. Of course, I have the automatic starter, the automatic stick shift starter. Yeah. In there too. 
Yeah, and what Ted has, and I know what he was getting at, which is a very smart move, is when you put a semi-auto starter stick, try again, huh? When you put a semi-auto stick starter on any of the Volkswagens, it's a larger starter, so it has more torque because it's used to turning over a large torque converter. They bolt right up and they have like three times the amount of strength, so it just starts it right up. So, now, do you want to take the top down? Sure, okay. sure. Let me get the tripod and we'll do it together. All right, sounds good. Ted's going to unlatch one side there, like that. I'm going to unlatch the other. And you got to make sure he said this hook unhooks now, here. Yeah, and now push, the, now push the handle up. and it Like that? No. Oh, oh yeah, like, like that. that. Okay. okay. What do we do here now? Just grab one side, lift it up. Okay. And... Oh, it just goes right down like that and then well, the mechanisms moved very smooth they did they did they really do this is nice boy the doors they shut so easy i need this car this is just amazing we can, like I said, we can always play. Let's make a deal. Yeah, he, he said that I could have it for one hundred twenty-five thousand. Is that a good <laughs> price on that? I, I, I've got to take a while. I just, I'm in love with this car. I can't help it, I, and I really mean it. I'm not just saying it for the film. I absolutely love this car. There's nothing like the wind hitting you in the face. Of course, some of you know I rode motorcycle my whole life, so. I can't say enough about it. It's uh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And Ted. where I was going with this is he didn't alter the car. I'm not saying don't alter the car. All I'm saying is he didn't. You know, there isn't real wide tires on the back slammed to the ground. This is a 1978 Honest convertible that is all stock. Changed radio, we all do that. But you didn't alter anything and get crazy with it. And I can appreciate that. No, the that. only thing it was would have been altered on it over the years was the paint color because it yeah. was originally bright yellow. Yeah, he did say, I forgot, this was originally bright yellow. But to tell you the truth, I like the silver. I really do. I, I think it accents the car well. I think it gives it more of a class look, you know. And it's just my opinion at all it is. But what the, what do you think about taking just a five-minute ride real quick? Sure. Okay. Sure. I'm going to get Heather because if we take a ride without her, she's going to get upset. She With both of us. Yeah. It's okay. And Heather is joining us. You guys haven't seen her in a while, huh? She's been hiding in the background. So we are going to go ahead. We're going to take a ride. We'll have Heather slip in there. Folks, and Heather's going to film from the back seat. I'll film from the front. And we got the GoPro on the side, and Ted's drinking the lousiest stuff I've ever had in my life. He says it's water, so <laughs> let's hop it's in. It's that hand. Pretty cool. And Heather's in the back here. I don't know if I got her in. Nice and smooth. So Heather's filming from the pack. We got the GoPro on the side. Oh, this is nice and smooth. Fuel injection is nice. I know they sell a Holley Sniper I wouldn't mind messing around with, but nothing like a convertible. It does feel good. Oh, there's no doubt. I can see why this is Heather's favorite. It's, yeah, I know you do. Totally different world. And how long have you owned it, Ted? Um, it'll be four years in July. Okay. So he's had it a little while. We can make it right here. I have to admit, I hit it. I bought this car for a very, very good price. The guy said make an offer, and I made it, and he took it, and I was happy. Oh, nice. Yeah, and you really, you know, you got something that's solid. 
I see it shifts very nice and smooth. Well, I followed your video and did the shift rod bushing and all that stuff a couple of years ago. Yeah, and Ted's been doing the stuff himself. You and, know, and the so. biggest the biggest thing I found out when I got it, I trained and changed the uh, oil in the transaxle, and it made all the difference. Oh yeah, a lot of guys will run synthetic. Uh, is what they do to get smoother shifts, but I've never tried it yet because they say it hurts hurts the synchros. You know, but this is very smooth. Let's check on Heather back here. You having fun? <laughs> she loves her convertibles. Oh, I forgot to mention too. The only thing I did different on this on this car is when I bought it, the brakes were horrible. They were pretty much to the floor all the time. And well, when I tore everything apart, all the return springs were rusted in too, and the hanging and everything else. So I did do a um, uh, disc brake conversion on it. Oh, nice! And, and you noticed a big difference? Oh, a big difference. I bought the. I also bought the big bore master cylinder in case I ever decided that I wanted to do the rear. Right. And uh, I can't complain. I haven't had any problem. I haven't had any problem at all. It stops real nice every time. Yeah, disc brakes make a world of difference. They really, really do. I mean, this is. It's a very comfortable drive. now I can feel how smooth it is it's you can tell it's much more responsive there's no doubt yeah I think it gives you what an extra eight horsepower or something like that somewhere around there I believe I'm not positive but there's definitely a little extra horsepower but it's so much more responsive that's the nice yeah, thing about I it I mean if I push it down it's Oh yeah, I think it's going pretty good. Well, these cars don't weigh a whole lot, so it doesn't really take much to get them going, you know. Is Heather still with us? Yeah, here. She's, 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 blow, here. she's blowing away in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very nice. You got the stop sign here. Oops. That's okay. Take that out. <laughs> Thank God I got this brakes in the front. <laughs> you could turn around the parking lot anywhere here. Oh, okay. It's ever easier. I'll have to give this, bring this over and let you guys go out on the date night. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. <laughs> she might move that and never get it back to you. <laughs> back again. <laughs> Back again, Peter. You're good my way. Oh, this does pull out nice and smooth. One thing, when I worked for Cintas, I always said that I could drive a clutch real well. So. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. You're not dragging it, low. No. Nothing. You can tell it's not your first standard ship. get along with it. I don't force it or nothing, you know. Right.
That's the thing with good old Pennsylvania. We have a lot of hills. These sheepskin covers are soft. They are soft. I like them. You know, I, I, I know what it's like to burn your legs. I've owned convertibles before. Right, right. with two people it's a little bit tough with one it's heavy right right it is well we'll see what the popular consensus is on the top and then that'll right make me decide whether i'm going to put one on or not i mean as much as you keep the top down i don't believe it matters but if you go to sell it and you want top top buck you know then So I appreciated the ride. This was actually very nice to do. Well, I'm glad you finally got the ride in it. Oh, absolutely. I knew Heather was going to like that. Yeah, I got to change these around. These are backwards. Or they sent me two of the same. Wouldn't you put the flat part against the floor? Yeah. Well, I did that on both of them, but the things are on the inside, so the belt goes here. You have to push, put your finger around the belt and push it. They sent me two. They sent yeah, me one wrong one. Yeah, I think that was the. And you can switch them around. Those. I'm used to it anything. now. So <laughs> this it was really a great time. I really liked it. I love these cars. I shall say, I'll get Heather one. So one day. Ted was it, nice enough, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, you're a good friend. We got to go for a ride, and I consider you one. That's for sure. I mean, we had a nice ride in it. And remember, folks. It's hard to film driving. That's not easy. And Heather got to go for a ride in her dream car, and she was in the back with her camera, so I'll kind of put them all together. But uh, Ted's going to come back whenever it's convenient for him, maybe in a couple of weeks, and we're going to put a new seal in the trunk, okay, and do a couple other little things we're going to check out. So I'm going to film that because I think it's educational to put the new seal in, so that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll see Ted again, of course, you know, now summer's here. I'll be seeing Ted in the winter. Now we kind of hide a little bit, you know. <laughs> Nobody likes the cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to go ahead, take a quick walk around here, and I'll close out in a second. Now, how cool was that? I had a great time. Uh, I didn't want to bore you too much because I don't know who really likes to go along on the drives and uh, see them videotaped, but I had a great time. Very, very nice car. I, I really enjoyed myself. Ted's a great guy, uh, and he did promise if he ever goes to sell that for any reason, he's going to sell it to Heather, which is really cool because I don't know how many of you know that she loves her convertibles. So I want to thank you all for going along. I really appreciate it. This was an extra video I wanted to put up for everybody, and I hope everybody has had an amazing day.